Welcome to the Indie Film Hustle Podcast, episode number 42. Why use social media? Marketing is no longer about the stuff that you make, but the stories you tell. Seth Godin. Broadcasting from the back alley in Hollywood, it's the Indie Film Hustle Podcast, where we show you how to survive and thrive as an indie filmmaker in the jungles of the film biz. And here's your host, Alex Ferrari. Welcome, my Indie Film Hustlers, to another episode of the Indie Film Hustle Podcast. I am your humble host, Alex Ferrari. Don't forget to head over to freefilmbook.com. That's freefilmbook.com to download your free film audiobook from Audible. And today's show is sponsored by filmmaking hacks how to shoot and market your independent film you can head over to indiefilmhustle.com forward slash film school to download that course now last week i talked to you guys about uh, a course that i was developing called twitter hacks how to get 10,000 twitter followers or true fans in 10 weeks and that is now available for you guys and i wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of some of the ideas and some of the kind of tricks that I have been using to get my following on Twitter uh, and also on Facebook and Instagram, but specifically that course is focusing on Twitter. So in today's episode, I'm going to give you some tips on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Now, before I start on the on the tips, I want to kind of let you guys know that without social media, you really cannot market your films. You can't market yourself. You can't, mar- you can't market your brand, your company, or your film projects without social media and a very smart social media strategy. So if you don't educate yourselves on social media and how to use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, um, Periscope, all the other kind of formats, you will not succeed in the next 10 to 15 years or so trying to market your film. The world is changing dramatically in the days of not being on social media are gone. And now not just being on social media is enough. You really have to understand the platform you're on and have strategies to maximize that platform and learn how to drive traffic to your website, sell your product, sell your brand, and engage with your audience, which is part of crowdsourcing and building up that audience that hopefully will continue to sustain you as an artist going forward in your career. The things I talk about in the course Twitter Hacks uh, is how I specifically got ten up to 10,000, I'm almost at 12,000 right now, but over 10,000 Twitter followers in less than 10 weeks with doing it kind of part-time, not even doing it like killing myself doing it all the time, doing it part-time very easily. So I'm going to give you a couple little tips to kind of get you started, uh, and then I'll give you a coupon code at the end of this to get a deal on Twitter hacks. So first things first, let's talk about Twitter. Twi- Twitter, a uh, couple tips. A lot of people talk about when to, to tweet and don't tweet too much because it's going to you know get people annoyed and so on. I'm here to tell you that you should tweet and tweet often. Tweet a lot. Tweet every 15 minutes if you can. The reason why is Twitter, unlike Facebook, is a very fast social media platform. The Twitter feed is flying by and unless the person is specifically on Twitter at the time that you tweet, they won't see it in their feed because it will just fly right by. Unlike Facebook that kind of hangs around a little bit longer, uh, Twitter is extremely fast paced. So if you just tweet once, you're wasting your time because you're only going to get a very small amount of your audience that is following you. So you should tweet the same thing two, three times in the in a course of uh, of a day or in a course of the uh, a couple you know 24 hours or 48 hours. So tweet often. And a lot of people like, oh, you know, you, you might get a few people like, oh, you're tweeting too much. I'm like, you know what? This is about marketing. This is about getting your message out there. And I did a test to see how much I can tweet in one day. And I tweeted in one day 45 tweets, purposefully. And I wanted to see what would happen. Not one person said anything, and my followers went up, my traffic went up, everything went up. And I was like, done. (laughs) So tweet and tweet very, very often. Don't let any other social media guru tell you different it works. And if, if, it, if, if you want to try it, try it yourself and see what happens when you do it. Uh, but it does, does work. So always another quick tip. When you're writing your tweet, write somewhere in the tweet, please retweet. 
it's about four times more likely for someone to retweet your tweet if you write, please retweet. It is something, I don't know why, but it's a call to action and people love to, you know, to be, I don't say they'd love to be told what to do, but if you tell them like, hey, help me out, please retweet, they're more, they're more, they're four times more likely to retweet than if you don't do it. Also, you know, you get 140 characters in a Twitter tweet. You should, all your tweets should be in a 120 to 130 range. Do not fully go all the way to 140. That's a mistake. I, I was doing that a lot, a lot at the beginning, but now I've discovered that between 120 and 130 is the the sweet spot because that way if somebody wants to retweet you without quoting you and just want to throw something else on there they have the space to do so so that's very helpful also hashtags hashtags are really really important when dealing with twitter and tweets but don't go crazy three one to three hashtags per tweet is more than enough don't go any more because if you do more the retweets and the likes and the engagements go way down so those are a few tips on Twitter. Now I'm going to jump over to Facebook. Uh, Facebook is obviously the big daddy. It is the the biggest social media platform on the planet. It has, I don't know, 2 billion users. It's something obscene like that. So I'm going to just give you a couple quick tips that I've learned uh, during my journey with Indie Film Hustle. Always use a picture when you lay a post down in Facebook. A picture will uh, with a link, obviously. Always with a link but a picture with a link because pictures are what's going to sell your social media. Same thing goes with Twitter. If you can put a picture or have some or a video or something visual, that's going to help your post out a lot. If you just put a text only post, you're not going to get a lot of engagement. You're not going to get a lot of reposts or shares or any of that kind of stuff. So that's tip one. Tip two is about how to use Facebook marketing. Now, I know you guys have seen the little boost aspect of thing like you boost my post to boost this or that a quick tip is that if you do a post uh let's say to an article um or a trailer or something on your site and you post it instead of creating an ad you should boost that post because when you boost that post um you are starting to get social proof meaning that you'll get all those likes and all those shares that you're getting will maintain so every time you're going to do another ad campaign don't start a fresh ad just boost that post again because now all of a sudden some something a, a post that you did 6 months ago and ha- all of a sudden has 200 likes and you know 300 shares and all of a sudden when people see that they're like oh this must be hot so that builds that social proof People like to go where the party's at. They don't want to be the first one at the party and they don't want to be at the unpopular table, if you will. So you have to make your post look bigger than they are. But this is a quick little tip on how to maintain that and grow that um, so it looks a lot better than if you would have just started a new ad campaign. And finally, I'm going to go over to Instagram. Instagram is another big, big social media platform that Facebook purchased. And uh, I'm also going to be coming out with a course on Instagram hacks uh, coming out in the next few weeks as well. I am working on that as we speak because I was able to do the exact same thing, uh, generated over 10,000 uh, followers on Instagram. And it Instagram is awesome. I love Instagram. It's so fast, so ha- fast paced. And there's a couple of little tricks I'll give you to um, to Instagram. First off, post at least six to 10 times a day when you're starting out. I know that's a lot, but if you're trying to build up that Instagram following, that's going to help you out dramatically filling out your feed so when people do come and start to follow you, they're like, oh, he's really posting a lot or she's really posting a lot and it's really fun and engaging content. And I go into a lot more detail about content creation, where to get content, how to create content, how to create branded content and so on. Uh, in the course that I'll be coming out with in a few weeks. And the other thing is another little quick tip on Instagram that people do not take advantage of is put a call to action in your description. People just go, hi, I'm Bob, and I'm a filmmaker, and here's my movie, and uh, thanks for coming by. That's not a description. That's not going to help you because you can't put links on your posts in Instagram. The only place they can really click to get to your site is off of your bio. So create a call to action. Say, hey, check out this, check out that, check out my trailer, check out this free piece of content that I'm gonna give you, check out 10 tips to how to do this or that or whatever. 
that's going to help you use Instagram and leverage Instagram to get more traffic and more awareness to your brand. So I hope you liked my little quick introduction and some quick tips on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, which will help you dramatically. Trust me, I have been doing this now for over three to four months, starting with my social media for Indie indie Film Hustle, and I've been using it as basically a testing ground, a testing lab to see what works and what doesn't. And as I continue to find new techniques and things, I will be updating the courses accordingly. So even if you get it now, in six months, it'll be updated. I'll update it constantly. So I really want to kind of bring, you know, I'm doing a lot of this coursework because I'm being asked to do so. A lot of the Indie Film Hustle tribe has reached out to me and they like, Alex, we want you to build courses. We want you to give us really detailed information about these specific topics. So I've heard you guys and now I'm doing it because you're asking me to. So uh, I'm creating really concise, tight courses with a ton of information, you know, really great content that you're used to getting on Indie Film Hustle and through this podcast, but I'm really just jamming in all this organization and these courses and real inside tips on how I am able to do what I do on Indie Film Hustle and what I'll be doing with my projects and have done with my projects in the past and in the future. So I also have some little bit of a teasing, exciting news. I have a, I have a, a project that I'm working on that I'm going to be announcing, hopefully, in the next coming weeks. And it's a big one. It's a real big one. It's not a course. It's something else. So keep your eyes out or ears out um, for that announcement coming in the next few weeks. So I'm so glad that you guys are getting so much out of this podcast and have, again, made it number one in so many different categories, filmmaking, indie film, and so on. So thank you so, so much, guys. Thank you for spreading the word. If you're new to the Indie Film Hustle tribe, please spread the word, reshare anything that you see on on our social media. If you see a, a, uh, an article that you like or a podcast you like, please share it with your friends. Spread the word because I really want to get this information out there to the people who really need it, to independent filmmakers who are struggling and are looking for answers that they may not be able to get anywhere else. And hopefully, Indie Film Hustle can be that beacon for them. But enough about that, guys. I know what you guys really want. You want to know where you're going to get this coupon code to get a deal on Twitter Hacks. So I'm going to be releasing it for $97, and it will be a living course, so we'll be updating it constantly throughout the, the coming years as I discover new things for Twitter. So it's a lifetime access to this course. Now, by the way, guys, it has taken me weeks to put this course together, and it's not something I just kind of threw together. There's a lot of knowledge in this, and I put a lot of love in this. I really wanted to make it help it, help you guys out a lot. So this course is specifically aimed at filmmakers. This is a Twitter hacks for filmmakers. So I'm going to give you a code. The code is going to be pod tweet 25 That is pod, P-O-D, tweet, T W E E T 25 and you'll get the $97 course for 25 bucks. That's going to be going on for two weeks after the airing of this podcast. So this is my gift to all the early adopters and early users of the course. So thank you very much. And I'm also going to do something else for you guys. I'm going to give away 10 copies of this course for free. For the first 10 people who email me at twitterhacks at indiefilmhustle.com. That's twitterhacks at indiefilmhustle.com. The first 10 people who email me will get a free coupon code to get access to the course. So I would hurry because those 10 will go very, very, very quickly. So thanks again, guys, so much for listening and being a part of the Indie Film Hustle tribe. Don't forget to head over to filmmakingpodcast.com to leave us an honest review. It really helps out the show a lot. So I also wanted to end this episode with a quote because I think it was very appropriate for what we've been talking about. Content is fire and social media is the gasoline. Keep that hustle going. Keep that dream alive. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Indie Film Hustle podcast at IndieFilmHustle.com. That's I-N-D-I-E-F-I-L-M-H-U-S-T-L-E.com. 